Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today in the very first episode of the Quoted Podcast. So I kind of explained what the podcast is on the trailer, so if you haven't listened to that, you can if you want, but you'll understand what it is after you finish this episode. So today's Quoted is Quoted. Today's quote is from Harry Styles, and if you know me, you know he's one of my favorite people ever, and I absolutely adore him pun intended. Um, but first I'm going to give you a little bit of a story, like a little, a little micro, uh, lesson, I guess. So the, the podcast is supposed to launch today and, uh, the first podcast episode is supposed to come out probably about right now. It's currently 5 PM. It'll, it'll probably end up coming out tomorrow, the 10th. But anyways, I all week, the entire week, I have just been grinding like every single day, every waking hour I've been working and, it's been exhausting and I, I, it's just so hard to, I'm a senior in high school and I've been doing all of my coursework and just working 24 seven and I barely have any time because of that. And then I also want to work on my passion projects, you know, like a podcast, um, making content and putting that out there. And then also finding time to practice acting and acting classes and things. And so it's just been a very rough week. And anyways, I was sitting downstairs, uh, like 30 minutes ago doing schoolwork and I, I was just exhausted and I was beat and I didn't want to I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to record the podcast. I didn't want to uh, do any of this. And I just got a voice in my head that was like, make sure, make sure your car is locked. I don't know why. I was like, I I don't remember if I locked my car or not. And so I got up off the couch and I went out to the car and of course it was locked. But whenever I stepped out, it was like so bright and beautiful. I live in Florida. And so the sunsets here are just second to none. They're, they're gorgeous. And so now I am, instead of laying in bed watching TikTok and, you know, because that's what I was going to do because I was just so tired and I didn't want to do anything. And sometimes life's like that, but instead of giving into that feeling, I, here I am sitting at my window watching the gorgeous sunset and doing the podcast. And I'm really glad that I did. Anyways, moral of the little baby story right there, just don't let the life get the better of you, you know, just keep pushing, just keep pushing and make your, make your passions and the projects that you start, make them into fruition and cultivate those. And I keep saying, I, this is my very first podcast, so I'm probably going to say things like, um, and, and a lot. And I'm sorry that that's like really annoying. I, I know it is, but I'm going to try my best <laughs> anyways back on track. Um, I just really wanted to say that because I feel like it was a nice little, nice little good tidbit. So like I said, today's quote is from Harry Styles and I love this man. (laughs) I love this man so much. And so of course I had to start with him. It was only right. It was only fitting. So today's quote says, if you're happy doing what you're doing, nobody can tell you you're not successful. And I feel this quote in every inch of my soul. I just feel like this quote just really resonates with me. And at its core, it's just saying, don't let, don't let society just tell you what to do or anybody else. Um, of course, we're going to dive super, super deep into this. And I'll kind of explain more about all my points and things like that and what I mean. So my very first kind of point, and this one is a really kind of personal example for me. I, if you know me, you know, my biggest passion in life, I guess if you know me well, I really don't go around telling everybody this, but my biggest passion in life is acting. And I love acting. I've been acting since January, like uh, professionally. Uh, I've always loved acting and I've always loved the craft of it, but I finally got into it this, um, past January and I am so incredibly glad that I did and so incredibly, like, grateful for my acting studio and everything like that. I'm just so grateful. Anyways, 
My point with this is acting obviously isn't the easiest career. I mean, by no means any is any career easy and uh, acting definitely isn't one of them. And so, so many people have told me, Ella, that's ridiculous. Like that is just not, it's just not going to happen. So, you know, pick a new career <laughs> and I don't know, every time somebody told me this, I used to believe it, and I used to be like, yeah, this is just a big dream, but if you also know me, then you know that I'm a big dreamer, and I think that that's a great thing, and you can do anything that you put your mind to, so first of all, live your life. Um, I love creating, and I'm going to continue to create, but I'm also going to continue to act. I don't know what creating had anything to do with that, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways all of those people that told me, Ella, you're never gonna make it, like, that's really hard, like, uh, yeah, whatever. Thanks for your unsolicited advice. For example, my anatomy teacher last year, she told me, well, this, she didn't know I wanted to become an actress, but this is just a good example either way. So, basically, she told me, Ella, you know, you could be, a, I don't even know what it's, an optometrist? An eye doctor, basically. And she was like, yeah, the hours aren't, like, super long, like, overnight or anything like that. I don't know if that's correct or not, but okay. And she basically just told me that it's not, like, an emergency, so, like, you don't work on the weekends, like, the ER and all of those things. She was like, it's not an emergency, and you get a lot of money, like, lots of money from it, and all of the benefits. Basically, she told me all these benefits, and I was like, great. I love that. I will love that for somebody who that's their passion in life, and... I just don't think that you should pick a passion, pick a job, not a passion. You don't really pick your passion. You're just kind of born with them. I don't think that you should pick a job because it makes a lot of money. I don't think that that's how you get satisfaction out of life. So if you have a passion and you think it's your passion because you want fame or money or any of those things, I don't think you're going to if I could talk, I don't think you're going to make it very far. And that's just because, or if you do make it very far, you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be satisfied because you're working a job that you don't like and you're living not for yourself, but for other people. So first of all, those people that are telling me, Ella, you're never going to make it. Like give up now, give up before you're too far down the road, before you've wasted m too much of your life. First of all, I would rather be working my tail off in LA just trying to make ends meet while building a portfolio and trying to get my big break and resume or whatever and doing auditions while working a full-time job. I'd rather be doing that than being an optometrist and have a guaranteed road. Like, I would rather make the harder decision because chances are the harder decision is the best decision 90% of the time. Now, I just... I don't know if that, like, little example was all over the place because I have ADHD and I'm a little scatterbrained, but I think it went okay. Anyways, so I just talked about people who kind of tell you it's never going to happen and you need to just give up while you're ahead. Um, and while there are those people, there's going to be people in this world who hype you up and are like, yeah, do that. Do that. You can do it. Like, it's not going to be easy, but you can do it. You, you're a hard worker, you know, like there's going to be those people too. And you need to find those people because those are your, th that's your support group. And that's going to be your, that's going to be your little support bubble. And you should find those people. And like, for me, I am so blessed to have parents that are like, as long as you're happy and safe, I am so glad to hype you up. And they're just so glad to kind of help me follow my dreams with acting classes or anything like they're 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 the best there's also kind of like this stigma in our society that's like the majors or not majors but like life directions that are more approved I guess more gratif gratified I think that that'll work yeah they're more gratified is like medical field um business, well, I don't know about business, lawyer, like, those kind of things. Those are the things that are like, oh, yeah, you're gonna make it, and you just have to go to school. But the thing is, for me, somebody like me, I am not very good at school. I literally have ADHD, and so anything, 
I can't focus on anything, let alone something that I don't care about. Like, that's just not gonna work for me. Like, try to sit me down and force me to do schoolwork that I don't care about. It's, I, it's gonna be an arm and a leg to get that done. So, if you're a-minded, I'm just using A and B. There, There's actual, like, probably scientific names for these, but I don't know them. So, basically, I'm just using, like, A-minded people as people who are book smart, like, Aurora Yelmore of sorts, and then B-minded are people like me, who literally just can't, like, they have other passions and other interests, and it's just not school, and that's okay. Well, you can go to school for anything. School for, like, things that I don't care to study or devote my life to, so to say. Oh my gosh, the dog. My neighbor's dog is so freaking annoying. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I don't know if you can even hear that. So, for example, these careers that are, like, more accepted, I guess, in our society is, like, something my sister's doing. So, my sister wants to be a physical therapist. This is a great career because we need physical therapists but I'm just not the one <laughs> I'm just not the one to be your physical therapist and that's okay she is very book smart and she is in college and she goes to a pretty good college because she's good at school and that's just who she is you know and even my sister who is the more I guess example for high school students she changed her major twice, so she doesn't even know what she wants to do, and that's okay. She, we're lucky to have parents that kind of let us explore and let us do whatever we want regardless of what it is, but even if your parents, grandparents, whatever, friends are like, first of all, if they're your friends telling you not to chase your dreams, they're not your friends. Anyways, moving on. Don't listen to them because, it, listen, if it's your parent or grandparent, chances are you're going to live longer because that's just science. I don't know. Chances are they're going to live longer and once they eventually, you're going to live no longer, not them. Anyways, chances are in the future they're going to pass away and then you're going to be left alive and then it's like, I did that all for them and like, was it worth it? It probably wasn't, so keep that, bear that in mind, please. Just do whatever you want because it's your life. With that being said, there is people with God-given passions and God-given talents. Some people are more artsy and creative and artistic, which we need in this world. Some people are more analytical and precise and have a passion for medical field or law or all of these things which we really need in our world like we need all of it so don't take up space somewhere that you really don't want to be because there's another group for you somewhere another place for you to be another seat at the table that you're probably gonna like a lot more instead of pretending to be somebody that you're not because that's just not fun and you will probably hate life that way now that I've told you all about my problems and aired out my dirty laundry, honestly, not even really because I feel like so many people deal with that and so many people kind of struggle with that, but how do we fix it? Like, how do we shift our perspective from society's view to a more worldly view that's really puts the world into perspective because we're on this floating rock in the universe, in this massive universe and we're really letting other people tell us what to do. How do we fix it? First of all, stretch, stretch, search, search inward and not outward. If you search inward and within yourself and your passions and your likes and your dislikes and you know who you are at your core and not what somebody else likes, you're gonna be so much happier. Like, I guarantee you, if you stop pretending to be like other people around you or just for society satisfaction, you're gonna be so much happier. It reminds me of Wednesday, the TV show just came out, and it really reminds me of that because Wednesday literally, like, that girl does not care. Like, she said it, she likes it when people make fun of her because of how she dresses and whatever, whatever she does that everybody's like, ew, she's weird. But reality is, just be yourself. Reality is, people are going to judge you, like, whether or not 
you want them to. <laughs> like, they're going to judge you. They have free will and they're going to sit sit in their chair and stare at you and say mean things about you in their head, probably. And that's okay because you know why? Those people are probably the people that are going to choose the doctor job, the optometrist, or I don't know if that's correct, but I'm still going to use it. They're probably the optometrist and they're mad at themselves and taking it out on you because... That's how life works. People get jealous and envious, and I hate that, but it happens. And that's a topic for another time. So just, once again, that's your life, not theirs. So, like, what are they going to do about it? Say mean things about you in your in their head? Like, whatever. Like, okay, say as many mean things about me. That doesn't affect me at all. I'm still going to live my life, you know? I'm still going to become an actress, and thank you whenever I get an Oscar for the motivation. Wow, that came out very spicy. Anyways, it just gets my point across. Sorry, I had to take a slight intermission. I was quite parched. Anyways, what I was saying was, I don't even, ow, sorry, I hit my head. I'm probably going to wrap this up soon because I feel like I've just been rambling this whole time. But I mean, isn't that what a podcast is? I hope you got something from it, but I'm going to get some ending notes. First of all, I've been talking about, like, what you want to do for the rest of your life and passion, this whole thing, and pursue that. If you don't know what that is yet, that's okay. You have time. Whether you're 40, whether you're 30, whether you're 20, whether you're 10, whether you're 15, whatever, what you get the point. You have time, so don't stress yourself out and be like, and force, yeah, that would be bad if you forced yourself into something that once again, you don't want to do, then we're back to step, step one, square one. And if you don't know what you want to do, this is my advice. Just really cultivate everything. Try art, try drawing, try dancing, try all kind of classes. A lot of places have free first classes and you can see if this is something that you want to cultivate and that way you can find what you want to do. If you're interested in things that lawyer do, lawyer? The things that lawyers do. Or if you're interested in the FBI, like if you watch Criminal Minds and you're like, wow, that is so cool. Find a way to get plugged in and do research and try to find a way to cultivate that because obviously being in the FBI isn't like what it's like in Criminal Minds. That's just an example. (laughs) Anyways, I feel like I've been saying anyways this whole time so much. I'm sorry. I'm so redundant, but I'm going to get better. I promise. You just have to bear with me. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Typically, the episodes will be longer than this. This is just my first episode and my first time talking to a microphone. I, don't get me wrong, I talk to myself regularly, but I don't really do it in front of a microphone, so just bear with me and we'll get through this together, I promise. However, I am so incredibly excited for this podcast and the only way to go is up, right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me ramble and talk about this. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Once again, thank you so, 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 so much for listening. And I hope you guys join me next week for next week's quote. All right. This was Harry Styles Quoted, episode one, and I will talk to you guys later.